This is my family. My father, mother, two older sisters, twin brother, brother-in-law, and my twin nieces and twin nephews. It took quite a few sacrifices to get to where we all are today. Two major sacrifices from my mum and dad around 19 years ago. These are both my parents. They were both born in Egypt and both grew up in Cairo, Egypt. They married in 1979 after meeting at university where my dad studied to become an accountant and my mum studied English language and literature and went on to become a spontaneous translator. They began work in Egypt and a few years later gave birth to my eldest sister, Russia. Just over three years after the birth of my eldest sister, they had my other older sister, Reem. They lived in Egypt until Russia and Reem were three and three months, respectively, before moving to Saudi Arabia due to their jobs being under high demand in the Gulf to help reform the banking sector. The move to Saudi Arabia was hard for both my parents. This was the first time they moved away from their families to a country they had never visited before. Both my parents are practicing Coptic Orthodox Christians and the move to Saudi Arabia made this very difficult. No churches or Bibles were allowed in the country and women would have to remain covered regardless of their religious beliefs. The religious police would roam the streets and fine or abuse those who did not abide by their rules. They lived in Saudi Arabia for close to nine years when my mum worked at the Danish and Malaysian embassies as a spontaneous translator and dad worked as the financial controller of the Saudi investment bank. This was all before my father was offered a better position and a freer lifestyle in Bahrain. So yet again, they packed up everything and relocated. Not long after moving to the island of Bahrain, mum and dad found out they would be parents to twins myself and my brother. We were born in the Bahrain Defence Force Hospital on the 8th of October in 1994. Life continued as usual with two added children to the family. Life in Bahrain was fabulous. We lived in a massive compound with our own pool, zoo, bowling alley and mini wonderland as well as chefs, cleaners and nannies. My sisters attended the American International School there, a school usually only for military families, but due to Dad's senior position, they were granted entry. Mum worked as a spontaneous translator in the embassies in Bahrain, including the Japanese and the Turkish embassy, while Dad worked as the senior vice president of the Arab Banking Corporation. We lived in Bahrain until my brother and I were four, my older sister Reem was 14, and my elder sister Russia was 18. Russia had finished schooling and graduated with her IB, and Reem was in her senior years of high school. Mum and Dad once again packed up everything and relocated, this time to somewhere much further away from their loved ones, to give their children greater opportunities. The first country we were granted immigration to was Canada a country with freedom and great job opportunities, but a country that was notorious for its cold weather. For this reason, my parents applied for immigration to Australia. They were granted this immigration due to their qualifications. So in 1998, we moved to a country with great freedom, education and job opportunities, as well as good sunny weather. We gained our citizenship in 2000. Life in Australia was very different to the life in Bahrain or Saudi Arabia. Mum and Dad sacrificed their jobs and high positions as well as the lifestyle of nannies, chefs and cleaners to move to Australia to give their children, myself and my siblings, a better future. Mum and Dad had to build themselves back up in Australia, working in and out of their fields and setting foundations for future generations. Mum and Dad set up the family here and worked hard to regain their titles they had overseas. Myself and my siblings joined our respective education schools and began life as Australians. Now here we are, 19 years later from the big move and the massive parental sacrifice, all appreciative of the past history. The family has grown from what it was prior to the move and will continue to grow in the future. My father worked in the finance department of Allianz and as chief financial officer of the Arab Land Bank. My mother went on to become New South Wales Local Woman of the Year for her work as the chief executive officer of Meals on Wheels. My elder sister, Russia, graduated from finance at Sydney University 
then obtained her chartered accounting degree. She married her husband and my brother-in-law, Shady, who is a pharmacist. They became parents to two sets of twins, Rhea Simone and Chantel, and Zachary and Anthony. My other sister, Reem, became a human resources manager, and my twin brother and I are graduating this year as a doctor and a teacher, respectively. If not for the move, we would not be where we all are today. It took a major sacrifice from our parents, and to them, we owe our gratitude.